Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Yudinsky. In the early 16th century, the Christian church was in turmoil. For the last thousand years, the church had grown to be the dominant force in Europe. But during that time, it also descended into numerous theological errors. One of them turned out to be the main catalyst, actually, for Martin Luther's spark of outrage that turned into his 95 Theses, thus kickstarting the Protestant Reformation. This was the erroneous doctrine of indulgence sales, where sinners were told they could purchase their ticket or the ticket of a dead relative into heaven. Certain indulgences were allegedly worth more, which the church claimed would take off a greater number of years in purgatory, the place of temporal suffering after death, where sinners would need to still be purged of any remaining sins before they could enter heaven. This is a demonic doctrine to be sure, and it was one that needed to be corrected. Now, the main propagator of indulgence sales was one of the most infamous villains of the church and its history, the Dominican friar and church charlatan known as Johann Tetzel. Tetzel was born in 1465, a generation before Luther. He entered the clergy as a young man and became a fiery Dominican preacher. Now, to be fair to Tetzel, he got some things right. He preached that sinners were wretched and deserving of damnation, but he also poisoned the gospel message by propagating the false doctrine of purgatory found nowhere in scripture and used that to generate profits for the church to build a lavish new St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, the most extravagant church in history. These profits came in the sale of indulgences. Tetzel appealed to his listeners' emotions by mimicking the voices of their dead relatives crying out from the fire of purgatory for their living family members to purchase an indulgence and set their souls free to enter heaven. He used silly catchphrases such as so much grace for so little coin and this infamous rhyme, whenever a coin in the coffer rings, a soul from purgatory springs. Well, this abomination completely undercuts the gospel of grace, where we believe sinners are saved by Christ alone, through Christ alone, and in Christ alone. And Luther, who uh, would discover this beautiful gospel truth in Romans 1, was enraged. Now, for the protection of his pastorate in Wittenberg, Luther boldly preached against Tetzel's claims, and he decided to air some of these grievances sparked by Tetzel, uh, aimed at the church in general, on the castle church door at Wittenberg on All Hallows' Eve in 1517. Europe would never be the same again, and the Protestant Reformation was underway. As for Tetzel, he was not universally beloved even by the Catholic Church either, and Luther's counterpunch proved to be his undoing. His influence in Germany faded, and he died in the summer of 1519. Thanks so much for joining me once again for A Moment in History.